Hi, my name is Sophie and I'm a junior at SCUT. I like your work! Good job! My poem is titled, To the Golden People. Beautiful people aren't fashioned in gold and silver, they're forged in guilt and sorrow as many would know, because they've been broken time and time again, but where those dark cracks endlessly stretch like a long paved road that hasn't quite led home yet, when darkness owns the body and the spirit. In my raw places, I choose to plant seeds of kindness, and the seeds took root in me, and I was finally worth something of value. They grew into the most exquisite flowers that I could not begin to comprehend. Because to heal is to grow stronger, sometimes. But there are still days where I feel unfamiliar in my own skin because all the flowers I spent so much time growing then decided on their own they'd rather be dead than growing in my chaotic garden as the spiral starts over and over and over again. Depression isn't just deep. Containing monsters from under our beds and in our closets. It's ups and downs and sideways, and I can't even tell you what way that is. I'm on an endless quest that someone else decided to send me on, and I can't find the ending. And they say, maybe sunshine is only meant for those who can't learn to dance in the rain. Now, I'm still twisting my tango steps as the thunder clashes above my head, my only symphony but I promise I'm trying. They assure me that sunshine all the time makes a desert, but their Bible told me rainstorms all the time make a flood, a raging current that drowns out the world until I need to start from scratch because I can't remember who I was. There are no more remnants of the girl who dreamed of touching the stars, but now I hope of finding constellations in a different way. I want to taste the stars because nothing can be worse than the flavor of worthlessness. Even when I was that little girl, many people made it very clear that I was not worthy of feeling loved. When will I be worth my weight in gold? Countless hours of striving for perfection were never enough. It would have taken one hand to reach out and hold when that flood hit. Isn't it funny how in the sea of golden people clicking and claiming to understand, hashtag relatable, hashtag retweet, not a single one noticed me drowning. <laughs>